Are you practicing shooting your gun way too much? Stay tuned to find out. Carter here with Patriot Training Center. Today I want to talk to you about something a little bit different that you don't hear all the time. Uh, I just got done with a sequence of training. I've been, um, I mean, I've been at this for about two weeks ish now um, of, of training every single day live fire like going to classes um, so we're you know in the four to five hundred rounds a day ish um, so I've been I've been shooting a lot of live fire and one thing that I notice a lot um, is you start to develop bad habits if you're shooting too much live fire for too long so Kind of sounds weird. You'd think the more that you shoot, the better you're gonna get, which is true to a certain degree because you're getting more reps and stuff. But if you don't supplement with dry fire, a lot of times I find that it's it actually, your shooting decreases sometimes. So what I mean by that is if, you, if you're shooting so much, uh, a lot of times you can't really see what you're doing when you're shooting um, that you could see in dry fire. So you'll start to develop a flinch or maybe you're milking the grip and, or tightening your grip uh, while right before the gun's gonna go off. So you develop bad habits. If you don't break those out in dry fire, those can just get worse and worse and worse and worse the more you shoot and you're not really doing yourself any good and you're not getting better. So shooting a lot is really good as long as you're supplementing that with dry fire and making sure that your fundamentals are down. Um, even if you do shoot every day, take the rounds out of the gun at night, dry fire and break those bad habits. Shooting frequently is good, it's just only shooting uh, can develop those bad habits really quickly. So what I mean by that is, I'll show you right here, gun is loaded, or <laughs> gun is unloaded. Um, so sometimes if you go back to dry fire and you've been shooting a lot, then you'll start to realize you're, oh, or you're, you're flinching the gun down or you're milking it down like I did right there. And really what you want is being able to pull this uh, trigger straight to the rear without moving those sights at all. So um, what you'd be working on in dry fire is getting that gun out, slack out the trigger and keeping those sights as still as possible while you pull the trigger. <laughs> If you were to take ammo out of the gun when you've been shooting a whole bunch, um, and, and, you know, say you're done with a three-day class and you've shot 2,500 rounds or however many rounds, um, a lot of times you will see a flinch. And it's a little bit different where um, instead of pushing the gun, like if you're pushing into the gun, that's a little bit different than actually flinching and dropping the gun. So you definitely don't want to flinch and drop the gun down like that. So. Make sure you're supplementing your live fire with dry fire, keeping those fundamentals sound. Um, dry fire, dry fire, dry fire, and then confirm with live fire. So speaking of dry fire, we have a 30 day dry fire program in the description below. Go click that, go through it. It's completely free. That'll get you where your skills need to be if you need help learning how to dry fire. We'll catch you guys in the next one.